taken in Southeast Asia showed him abusing young boys, and incredibly, he posted them on the internet. After unswirling his face, detectives issued them to police forces around the world, but no one could identify him. Then, in October 2007, Interpol made a historic decision. For the first time in the organization's 84-year history, it issued a global public appeal. It was a very significant moment for Interpol, and I also think it's important to remember that when we went public with his image, we didn't have an arrest warrant for him. He wasn't wanted in any country for any crime. 